Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I have for you my five favourite high-end lip glosses. Um, now these are colour rather than formula um, and I have actually cheated with two of them because with because I've actually got eight which is a cheat I know but two of them I've got two shades in one and I've got three shades in the other and I love them all so I wanted to share them all with you so yeah so it's kind of a cheap it is my top five high-end lip glosses my that first I love. pick is this and this is lychee and this is a juicy tube from Longcomb. now this is a shade that i have used for years and you can still get it i absolutely love this Ugh. i have actually got a few of these i think i've got this one i've got a backup and i've got one in my makeup bag um but it's just a really really pretty sheer pink with blue iridescent sparkle that doesn't really show up overly on the lips it just looks really pretty and like shimmery it looks beautiful also the blue helps to whiten your teeth um i love this uh it just is beautiful it was my first juicy tube and it was the start of a love affair which i did maintain for quite a long time but i haven't bought a juicy tube now in a long time i think i've got five or six that i really like but out of all of them this is my favorite my other favorite is a shade called i think it's birole b-i-o-r-l-e something like that and it was a limited edition and it's exactly the same but it's an orange shade and that as well is beautiful but i didn't want to show you that because i know it's definitely discontinued whereas lychee you can always get the next one is one of the golden glosses and this is shade number four and this is from YSL and these have got a really pretty fragrance to them but I know that they're not for everybody because it is quite floral for want of a better way of putting it. It's almost a little bit watermelony. They actually, the smell reminds me of the Butter London lip glosses but this one, they come with a brush which I'm not particularly bothered about. I'm quite happy with a doe foot applicator. But again, it is a sheer colour. But this is more of a rose. And it does have some beautiful golden sparkle through it. Um, looks really, really pretty for like a soft red lip in the evening with some black eyeliner. Tan skin looks gorgeous. The next one is Turkish Delight from NARS. And the reason is that I cannot find another colour the same this milky pink gloss is really all on its own I've bought a couple trying to match it but they never do quite come up to it now the NARS glosses don't smell great they have got almost a little bit of a funky smell where they're fragrance free they remind me of almost like a Clinique gloss um, but it's worth it for the beautiful beautiful pale pink colour that you get with Turkish Delight. Now they're not overly sticky but that does mean that it's not really really long lasting either. I've got Orgasm and one other shade of the NARS glosses and I must admit they don't blow me away. It is strictly Turkish Delight that I love. I know they've got a couple of other formulas that they've come out with over the last sort of like year or so but I haven't tried them. I love their lip pencils and everything like that so I'm not saying anything like that it's just that it is specifically NARS Turkish Delight. It's just that beautiful milky pink and I love it. Now, going on to one of my cheats, these are the Glossomers from Chanel and I have two of these and I love them both. This one is shade 169 and I think it was, it, it began with a J and it was something like Julet or something, but it was limited edition. And this is 104, which is part of the permanent collection. But they are just beautiful. They are so long lasting on the lips. They smell divine. They're creamy. They're moisturising. They're pretty and just beautiful. And they are just a real joy to wear on the lips. I like wearing these on their own rather than on the top of lipstick as well. Because they have enough pigment to really be able to give you sort of like some good bang for your buck now the pink which is shade 104 is this one here and it's just a very very pretty sheer pink with lots and lots of sparkle in it really pretty just gives a real nice iridescence to the lips looks very feminine very girly but also very polished and then this one which is 169 this is a cream finish it does have 
the sheen in the tube but you it doesn't translate to the lips they just look really glossy and really lush and it's a beautiful magenta shade almost reminds me a little bit of a gloss form of girl about town from mac it's that sort of a color but beautiful i love it and then my last one which again is a cheat i have three of and technically these are different because two of them are the buxom glosses from bare, um, bare minerals or bare essentials and then this is one of the buxom lip creams now this is white russian um, this I picked up off eBay and I've told I think I told you I paid about 20 pounds for it and then when it arrived I got taxed on it as well so it ended up costing me about 30 pounds which was ridiculous I would never ever ever spend that on a lip product but when I got my little customs form they charge you eight pounds just for sending you a little piece of paper that says you need to go and pay excess duty on it so really annoying but um, we can't get this shade here yet. I'm hoping that they do change that. Then I have Tonya, which is this bright corally pink. And then this one, which is Trixie, which was my first one and is probably my favourite. Um, I'll just I'll just do some swatches for you. Just pick that one up. I'll just do some swatches for you. Okay, so this is the first one. This is Trixie. And this is like a peachy pink... I wear this again on its own then the next one is Tonya which is a sheer sort of like pinky coral but it has got quite a lot of colour payoff quite similar to what I've got on today actually so we'll put some of that over the top <laughs> and then the white Russian which is the cream so this has no shimmer in it it is just a cream the swatch of this isn't going to look very interesting it look, looks far better on the lips but it's almost like a beige um Turkish Delight from NARS the colour payoff is very similar they're like those milky colours so they're just here so here you can see Trixie sorry I didn't swatch those very well did I there we go here you can see Trixie then here in the middle is Tonya and then here at the top we have White Russian so you can see they've got some real good colour pigment to them and they've got that light tingling sensation almost like a little bit of menthol I can feel it on my lips now but it's not uncomfortable it's nothing like the lip injection glosses or anything like that it's just a very very light tingling sensation nothing major so anyway they are my top five slash cheat eight high-end lip glosses and they are the ones that if I can't decide what to wear or I'm going through a gloss phase I will always return to um I have I do really really love the um mac one that i picked up from the temperature rising collection i forget the name of it now but i love that but i decided not to include it because mac although it is high end everybody talks about mac so i wanted this to be a little bit different anyway i really hope you enjoyed this video i hope you have a great day uh, let me know what your favorite lip glosses are any that you think i really really need to try anyway i'll see you all soon thanks for watching bye